Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be discussing the question Decode Ways. In this question, a message containing letters A to Z is being encoded to numbers using the following mapping. That is A is 1, B is 2 and Z is 26. Now given a non-empty string containing only digits, we need to determine the total number of ways to decode it. The answer is guaranteed to fit in a 32-bit integer. In the first example, we see that there are two ways to decode the string as it can be A, B or L. So we return 2 and similar all the other example. The given constraints are that the S only contain digits and may contain leading zeros. Before starting with the question, I just want to clear out some facts that if any string contains two consecutive zero, then it is not a valid string and we need to output zero in that case because there isn't a valid string that can be encoded to form with two consecutive zeros. Let's see how we can solve this problem. So this is the second example given to us and we need to find a number of ways in which we can decode this string. So we'll start off with the first value that is 2. Now starting with this 2, we need to find the ways in which the rest of the string that is 2, 6 can be decoded. And similarly, we'll take into consideration the two first two values that is 22 and see in how many ways the 6 can be decoded. As we know, 6 is only one letter, that means there exists only one combination. Also, an empty string is decoded in one way. So when we call our function on this 2, we need to call it on 26. And from this 26, we will be calling on 6. And from this 6, it will be called on an empty string also. And similarly, when we take the first two values, that is 22, it will be called on the rest of the string, that is 6. Now. As we see that we are calling the function for the same string many times. This is a string of length only three and still we are calling that function on the same string six two times. So we need to have a memoization. Otherwise there will be a huge time complexity. So let's see how we can code this. We will have a result variable which will hold the number of combination exist till that particular string and then we'll have a find method which we will be calling recursively and at the end we just need to return the result directly. We will first see what the logic is and then we will apply the memoization. So we will declare the method find. We are given that the string can contain leading zeros. So if a string that is starting from zero we cannot do anything and we will simply return and this becomes our exit condition. If the string length is less than or equals to 1, that means either it is an empty string or it is a value between 1 to 9 because we already handled the condition where the string is starting with 0. In case of only one value, it will be only 0. So we have already handled that. So in that case, we need to increment the result as we can have one way to decode the string of length only one and then we simply return otherwise as discussed we we'll need to iterate on this string for the first two elements so the value will be from the starting till the i plus one if this value is greater than equals to one or it is equals to 26 then you have to recursively call the method on the rest of the string now this is the logic that we need to follow in order to find the result but this has a time complexity of 2 raised to power n now how we can reduce it we can reduce this by using a space in this case we will be using a hash map when the key will be a string value and the value will be an integer we'll take that as up. We need to first initialize this map. We will be storing whatever value we are having in result at each iteration. So we'll put the value corresponding to this substring on which we call the method and then putting whatever value of result into it. This has the result for the substring that we have and the number of ways we can decode it. In order to use this pre-calculated values, we need to find if the map contains 
the key s if it is then we need to return but before returning we will add the result with the value that is corresponding to this string now when we run this code we get the right result let's submit this so it got submitted successfully this has a time complexity of o of n and while the space complexity is also o of n we can do the same thing using dynamic programming and using the same logic that we did in this case and let's see how we will using the dynamic programming in this scenario so suppose the same input is there that is 2 to 6 we need to have a dp array of length plus 1 that is 4 what does dp of 0 represent dp of 0 represent the combination of length that is in how many ways we can decode the string of length 0 length 1 length 2 and length 3 and as you can make out the answer to this question lies in dp of 3 because the length of our string is 3 so as we know an empty string can only be decoded in one way we'll directly put 1 in dp of 0 now in order to put the value at dp of 1 we need to check if the first value is 0 or not if it is a 0 then the dp of 1 will be 1 otherwise it will be 0 in this case it is 2 so we'll put the value 1 in it now starting from 2 we will start our loop till the end of the string at dp of 2 we need to consider the value till the length 2 of this string there can be two cases in this length first case that we consider only the value at index 1 that is 2 so in this case we get the current value at the index and as this value is between 1 to 9 we are sure that in the number of ways in which we can decode the string taking one string at a time will be the same so we'll copy whatever value is there in dp of i minus 1 into this dp of i now we take both the values of the length 2 and we see that it is still in the range of 10 to 26 so we need to add whatever values are there in dp of i minus 2 to dp of i then we come across 6 we take 6 alone and copy whatever values are there in dp of i minus 1 to the dp of i and then we take 26 it is still in the range so we need to add whatever values are there in dp of i minus 2 to dp of i and so the answer becomes dp of 3 that is the number of combinations or the number of ways in which we can decode a string of length 3. Let's see how we can code this and get the result. We'll start off with checking if this string is null or its length is 0. If that is the case we simply return 0. Now as discussed we need to have a dp array of size s dot length plus 1 so as we know the dp of 0 will be 1 an empty string can be decoded in one way and then we need to put value in dp of 1 which will be equals to it is dependent on the first character if it is a 0 then it is 0 otherwise it is 1 so we'll check if if it is 0 then it is 0 otherwise it is 1 now we need to loop from second till the length and there are two cases as we have discussed either the only value at that particular index or or the string of length 2 so to take both the values we will use length 1 which will be string i minus 1 till i and a length 2 which will be Now we need to check if the length 1 should be greater than equals to 1 and the value should be less than equals to 9. If that is the case we then simply add the value of dp of i minus 1 and for length 2 if it is greater than equals to 10 and less than equals to 26 then we at the value of i minus 2 into this index at the end the answer lies at dp of s of length so when we run this code we get the right result let's submit this so it also got submitted successfully 
now the time complexity is still o of n and the space complexity is still o of n we can reduce the space complexity to o of 1 that is constant space that is we do not need any dp array because if you see it clearly we are just using two values at a time and then using those values we need to find the third value so we do not need a dp array for that so now let's remove this dp array we'll take the first value as dp1 and then a second value which will be dp2 in this we need to have a dp variable which will be initially zero we'll update this value with the dp1 and dp2 we know that the values are in this sequence that is dp2 dp1 and dp so the new sequence every value should shift one that it becomes dp2 and this becomes dp1 so in order to achieve that what we need to do is so we'll make dp2 to dp1 and dp1 will now become the dp at the end the answer will be in dp1 so we'll return that let's run this code so it runs successfully when we submit this so we need to have a condition if the char at 0 is 0 then we simply return 0 now when we submit it so it got submitted successfully the time complexity still remains o of n while the space complexity is now o of 1 that is constant space thanks for watching the video see you in the next one